This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Domain.com. Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Marklin Sayan from Techno Buffalo, and today we'll be taking a look at Android 6.0 Marshmallow on the Nexus 6. Google's latest mobile update began rolling out to Nexus users Monday morning, including the Nexus 5, Nexus 6, Nexus 7 2013 edition, and Nexus 9. If you haven't received the OTA update yet, we actually made a separate video detailing how to manually flash Android 6.0 Marshmallow on your Nexus device. So, what's new in Android 6.0 Marshmallow? Probably the biggest change in this version is now on tap. It's essentially an assistant that listens in on your activities and gives you the supplemental information to help you get more done. For example, if someone texts you or emails you about seeing The Martian, now on tap will provide links to information about the movie, shortcuts to relevant apps, and even make a calendar entry if a date and time are mentioned. And if you don't know anything about The Martian, you can simply ask Google now who directed the movie, and it'll be able to pull up information about the director of The Martian. Compared to what's been added to Android in the past, now on tap is easily one of the cooler features we've seen. Not only is it really fun to play around with, but it makes Android even smarter, making it easier to find information without leaving the app you're in. Android Marshmallow also includes native fingerprint support. In Marshmallow, your fingerprint will be able to do things like unlock your device, authorize payments using Android Pay and in the Google Play Store, as well as signing into third-party apps. Another big change in Android 6.0 Marshmallow is Doze, which is Marshmallow's newest power-saving feature. With Doze, Android recognizes when your device is idle and will automatically put your phone into a deep sleep state to conserve power. According to Google, the screen off time of devices running Marshmallow lasted 30% longer on average, so even if you forget to plug in your phone before bed, your phone's alarm clock will still ring. There's also App Standby, which essentially puts your less frequent used apps into a reduced activity state to conserve battery for the apps you use more frequently. Last but not least, Android Marshmallow will now give you the ability to customize and control which permissions you give apps. For example, I can revoke access to my microphone inside Instagram, but I can still use the app normally. In the next few weeks and months, developers will start updating their apps to support this feature, which means apps that are designed for Android Marshmallow will only ask for a permission at the time it's needed. In terms of the overall UI, not much has really changed here with the exception of the app drawer, which now scrolls vertically, whereas before you'd need to scroll horizontally in order to see your different apps. There's also a somewhat newish easter egg with Android Marshmallow. Now, I say newish because it's essentially the same minigame we saw last year with Android Lollipop, which is kind of disappointing. But this time around, you need to save your Android buddy and pass through the cute marshmallow that is probably going to eat you. Let me stop the video real fast and thank our friends over at Domain.com. It's the place to go when the next great idea hits you. It's a one-stop shopping for all your domain names and web hosting email needs. Domain wants to hook our fans up with a pretty cool offer. Save 20% on domain names and web hosting if you use the coupon code TECHNOBUFFALO at Domain.com's checkout. So these are the major changes in Android Marshmallow. We checked out the early developer previews a few months back, so make sure to check them out over here. Android Marshmallow is rolling out starting today, but if you want to manually flash it, make sure to check out the link in the description below. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and we will see you guys in the next one.